Okay, hi guys. Um, today I'm going to be talking about uh, apps that uh, that I'm using for my Android device. <coughs> okay, uh, these are the apps that I find very nice to use. Uh, not particularly useful. Uh, yeah, they are useful, but um, they can be used on all devices. And all those friends uh, who have Galaxy Note just got the Galaxy Note. Uh, my friends who've been talking to me about uh, making a video, uh, detailing certain apps that they should be having, and uh, instead of asking me over and over again, um, I'm going to be doing this video to to show you guys what the apps they should be having. Okay, uh, this apps is not specifically for the Galaxy Note. If you have an Android device of any sort, you can use it on them too. Okay, first of all, this is. The widget locker. Okay, why I like the widget locker is that it's highly customizable. See, I even have my name down there. Uh, you can change the color of the font of the camera of this. Oh, sorry, camera about this uh, clock. Uh, you have a simple slide to access any apps customizable. You can add any apps that you like down here. I like to have my Facebook, my WhatsApp, my messaging uh, down here to fast access. Uh, and this in particular is very useful because of my job i need to turn on my phone turn off the sound of my phone at any given time so uh, it actually saves me time uh, opening up the iphone of the phone uh, and actually um, turning off the sound it's, it's a lot of steps so with this i just slide it and the sound is off so very fast see vibrate mode and sound mode Another thing about the widget locker that I like is that, oh yeah, sorry, you can also access your camera by sliding to the side. Let me just demonstrate. Uh, unlock. All right, you can access the camera. Okay, camera on camera. Okay. All right, let me just exit. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, one more thing that when you uh, turn it to landscape mode it actually turns to together with you unlike the conventional uh, Android uh, rather note uh, lock screen which is only on uh, portrait mode uh, this one can change to from portrait to landscape okay you see all right another thing that People have been talking to me about the lock unlock sound. They like the iPhone lock unlock sound, the jailbroken one, which you can choose uh, any sound to unlock your phone. Swiping, uh, sound of swords, a uh, sound of robots, a uh, sound of a uh, a uh, woman, sexy woman saying un unlock sound. Okay, using widget locker, you can have that too. See, widget locker. Let me just show you the icon. Um, Okay, widget lock. Where is it? Widget lock. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Widget locker. Okay. Widget locker. Highly customizable. You can change your lock screen uh, to the max. It's just not limited to your wallpaper. Uh, and to me, Android. I mean, Samsung or whoever should actually look into this. People like to customize their devices and that will win people over. Okay, <clears throat> another thing, Go Launcher EX. This one must get. Because why? Also highly customizable. It comes with its own task killer. Okay, see? It turns on by itself. So what you do, you just tap on the X, X screen. Okay, it deletes it closes all the others um, tasks okay and you lock I lock the widget locker so it doesn't close my widget locker so it will be still be on widget locker whenever I lock unlock my phone if you don't do that it will go back to the native lock screen okay just all right see even go launcher supports portrait mode sorry landscape mode all right there's a shortcut down here which you can use to turn off data, alarm, uh, brightness whatsoever. Also, customizable at the touch of a button, it can actually changes 
what are the things that you want on your shortcuts okay you can put in the battery the lock screen whatsoever but to me the one that is critical to me that i like to have on the fly is uh, wi-fi sharing wi-fi mobile network so and sometimes i just go overseas and i do like to incur some extra charges so i just turn on turn off this mobile network um airplane mode in case i go to an area of my job location which does not allow me to use phone i just turn off turn on the airplane mode so i don't receive any calls i don't get it shot or get my phone confiscated all right um let's go back go on to ex team one more thing that this thing has is effects a lot of iphone jailbroken owners tell me they like this uh, effects that the iPhone have when you swipe okay with this go launcher uh, EX you can actually get that too I'm going for this effect because it simulates a transformation kind of uh, scheme uh, because I have as you can see from my background I actually have the face of side swipe I'm going for a more of a transformers kind of theme so I'm actually I choose this but you actually can change the the effects okay let's say this is the home screen transition uh this is the uh, transition where you enter the application screen what type of transition you like and uh particular transition i'll get that get back to that later on home screen transition i'm using the cord so let's just say i want to use the chariot which is popular in the on, on the iphone okay you can see and there is a lot of transition that you can you can choose you can choose um, another popular one that um, some of my friends are uh, like that is where is it uh, cylinder yes cylinder all right okay it's just some okay guys as i say there's one more transition that i like to use uh, when you access the home it's still swapping left to right as normal android phones show let me just show it in this way okay left to right you can change to five icons to the normal four and it has the waterfall effect look at the top and the bottom it looks like a waterfall so it's actually vertically scrolling to me this is uh, much more nicer to look at uh, much more nicer to use uh, instead of the swipe left to right which is to me is like so cumbersome but some people like it so uh, it's all down to your preference actually all right another thing that is good on this go launcher ex is this icons the dock usually for normal standard galaxy note users you have one two three four and the center one is reserved for the application button uh, you can actually change all there are actually five down here you can change all uh, but i suggest you leave one for the application button and you can add 10 more as you can see i have to read my music down here uh, my ultra voice changer which i use to change my voice to robot uh, alien whatsoever uh, astro file manager whatsapp movie manga which i used to use uh, watch naruto on it um, and all the other apps that you like and it goes back to the first dock all right okay this is particularly useful for people who like uh, shortcuts but to me you can have shortcuts all over down here so this is just a bonus all right and with this go launcher ex you have a lot and lots of theme okay let's just say um just, i won't change my theme because uh, i don't like to be changing over and over again so i'll just show you one all right these are just themes that i have downloaded uh, all free of charge some are paid uh, but i don't buy the paid one because uh, it's not really very nice if it's nice i'll buy it um okay you press more and go to the go store or google market both have different variety of themes just to go to the go store and choose go theme okay as you can see there's a lot of themes 
that you can use lots and lots of theme if you're a girl you're a boy uh, it, it is, there's actually a variety of what type of themes that you like and you can just choose each theme comes with its own icons so you can rest assured that your phone will look different from your friend who's using another theme so I like to be different from others and this is just one of the way that I like, I like to, uh, to differentiate myself okay okay as you can see there's an alert new go launcher themes release check later with your go team okay uh, I'll check it later uh, oh yeah uh, go launcher also comes with its go plugins um, go add-ons as they call it uh, such as a Facebook app uh, plugin add-ons that you have to download and but what I really recommend is this the task manager and the shortcut when you install the theme this thing will be shown on your home screen uh, and it says download now so what you need to do just click download now and it will download this thing okay with the bar and the app you you will know and you see it. and the shortcuts which is very useful uh, for on the fly kind of uh, uh, customization you can turn off the Wi-Fi turn off the uh, this uh, 3G turn off the airplane mode brought to brightness and all and all that okay so these things uh, is very good to to have on the phone <coughs> okay this is one of the my calendars and all that my games and I don't need to show you that um, let me just see this oh yes 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 okay uh, app toy for those of you who like to download uh, stuff I'm sure all of us like to download stuff app toy must have must get you can get it from uh, this um, market marketplace they have app toy down there uh, and don't forget to download the repos it's all repos as well uh, and actually if laptop doesn't have the app they will search for you uh, on bazaar bazaar mobile uh, which has a a lot of apps uh, i don't know how to count uh, okay not that i don't know how to count is uh, i just don't want to count them thousands of them okay next is the navigator for you for those of you driving okay co-pilot sidekick both very very good navigation system Co-pilot good because you can you get to save uh, all the uh, places that you've been, uh, rename them so the next time you can just uh, go back to them, uh, set it to that location and go back there. But usually the place where we've been, we know how to go there, um, so that's why I think Sajik is the better one because Sajik you can you can actually put in the postal code and it will actually bring you to the exact location. Uh, I actually use Sajik more nowadays. I used to like to use Copilot, but after I uh, tried out Sajik, I never went back to Copilot. Only sometimes I went back to Copilot. Uh, I can't remember why, but it's just a preference that I, I like to switch and match. I switch, switch. Right? But I like Sajik more nowadays. Okay, if you are looking for a good navigate, navigator on your phone, try Sajik. Okay? In fact, get both Copilot. Sajik is free to use copilot you must buy i can't remember how much but you must get copilot uh Sigic is free so you can try out Sigic. you can see by Sigic disadvantages as i say you cannot save um the addresses that means it's just uh type in the place where you want to go and you go it's just like that all right okay that's for navigation uh other than that there are all normal application that um it it caters to your preference uh, I'm not doing this to this any iPhone guys I'm actually using this video recording this video using my iPhone 3GS so I still love my iPhone uh, I still have my iPad I love my iPad it's just that right now I prefer Android to iPhone sure iPhone have more apps but Android is more customizable uh, more, more, more friendly to use more nicer to use to me okay there's no restriction there's flash down here there's java down here so uh actually for no i don't know for other devices for my uh xperia plane okay it's also using go launcher ex okay 
it's also using Golongi EX. So basically, the Golongi EX is very nice to use. I use it on both my devices. Okay, so those are the uh, apps that I use. So, do you guys who still have other questions or anything you want to ask me, uh, drop me um, a comment below. And if I know the answer, uh, I'll get back to you. If I don't know the answer, I'll try to find out and I'll get back to you. If I can't find the answer, chances are the answer is not on the internet because that's how I look for answers anyway. I'm not a wizard like some of you Android users out there. So, drop me a comment uh, and I'll get back to you if I can. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.